Hi, welcome to this uh, short overview about the door matrix in uh, the GitLab platform, in the one DevOps uh, platform. We visualize the four uh, door metrics, the deployment frequency, lead time for change, time to restore service and change failure rate under the value stream analytic in the overview dashboard. You can access the value stream page in the left side menu under the analytic, you'll find the value stream uh, page. The first two uh, door metrics, deployment frequency and lead time for change, give you uh, the indication, give you uh, insights about the team velocity, the throughput of the team, and the time to restore service and change failure rate give you more insight about the stability and the quality of uh, the performance of the uh, software that's been delivered by uh, the team. From each one of uh, the metrics, you can uh, drill down uh, to get more deep dive understanding about the uh, previous, about the history, uh, uh, behavior of uh, the metric. For deployment frequency, we are uh, tracking here how often uh, the organization successfully released uh, to production, how faster the team was with uh, making those changes, those customer requests, and deliver those requests to uh, production. With the uh, lead time for change, we are measuring the efficiency of uh, the CI CD pipeline. We are not measuring the time of the code, the time it's been uh, for the coder to develop the code. We are measuring the time it took to deliver the code into production from the commit till the time the code was uh, deployed into production. Time to restore service and change uh, failure rate, both of them being calculated from uh, GitLab uh, incident. Uh, with the time to restore service, uh, it gives you the indication uh, how much uh, the team uh, efficiency with uh, recover from uh, outages, how much it's taking to deliver uh, uh, bug fixes uh, to uh, production and to uh, fix the uh, incident and bring the service back uh, to normal. Um, and change failure rate, again, we are getting the data from uh, the GitLab uh, incident. We are uh, calculating uh, uh, how many deployment have uh, been in, in a, a specific time, in the specific, it's the last uh, 90 days, and how many from those uh, deployment create uh, an actual incident in production. And it's give a good indication about the stability and quality of the uh, software delivery uh, by the team. In addition to this uh, overtime uh, trend uh, report, uh, we also have uh, customized uh, reporting for uh, Dora. It's been done in the Insight uh, reporting tool. This is a YAML-based reporting when you can uh, customize and create different dimension of the report. You can compare uh, one metric between different teams or you can compare the four metrics for one team and see if there is improvement over time. Uh, or if there is uh, something that needs more attention. Um, you have in the documentation all the information how to create those uh, YAML files. We also have examples of uh, with the different visualization and uh, examples of uh, the configuration files so you can start uh, um, using it very easily. Uh, also for uh, Dora, uh, we have uh, the APIs. We have both uh, GraphQL and the REST uh, API as well. You can find all the information in uh, the documentation. Um, and um, this is uh, that was, was a quick uh, overview about uh, our draw metrics in uh, GitLab. You can find again all the information here in the, the documentation uh, pages. Uh, you can also find more information in the category page for Dora. We have also a public uh, epic when you can uh, review our roadmap plan and you can. Uh, discuss and have any conversation that you want uh, with the team. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.